Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So before we start anything, please let me first apologise for my appearance today. I'm just having one of those days, you know how it is. My hair's a shit tip, my face is just like bleh and you know you just feel like rubbish. You just don't look okay. That is what today is for me. But nevertheless, I wanted to do this video because I think it's going to be quite a fun video today so I started thinking of like different ideas that I could do and I thought of one that I've never really seen anybody do before. I mean it's YouTube so I'm guessing somebody's done it because let's face it what hasn't anybody done on YouTube. Basically what I want to do is try doing a face of products using items that start with letters that are in my name. So I mean I didn't word that right but like sort of for example my name is Carol Ann so it starts with the letter C so I can use concealer um, contour, I have an E in my name so I can use eyeshadow, I don't have an F in my name so I can't use foundation, does that make sense? So only using products that start with the letters that I have in my name. It is really random but I thought what the heck, let's just give it a go. So let's get into the video. So my name is Caroline, don't have a P in it so I can't use primer, I don't have an F in it like I said so I can't use foundation. Luckily I do have a C in my name so I'm going to use concealer. So the first concealer I'm going to use is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, just this one here and I've never done a face of like just using concealer for the base. I know some people swear by you know just popping concealer on and you know that's it without foundation. I've never done that so I'm hoping it goes okay. Um, but yeah, we'll give it a go and see what it looks like. So I'm just going to pop this just on my under eyes, like that. Just a bit like that. And I'm just going to take a beauty blender and just blend that in under my eyes. And as you can see, it's quite light. I mean, this is going to look pretty weird. I'm not used... I either you know, wear foundation when I'm doing my makeup or don't wear makeup at all, there's no like in between. So this is going to be strange for me. Okay, so that's not, I mean obviously it's not covered a lot, I mean I only put it under my eyes so what do we expect? But I just wanted to do that just to brighten my under eyes up and give a little bit of coverage. And I think that's all blended in. Then I'm going to take this PS My Perfect Colour Concealer Stick just from Primark and it is just this one here in the shade Ivory. I'm going to pop that on the areas that I haven't quite touched so I think I'm going to pop that on my chin, some to cover the redness on my cheeks, down my nose and my forehead because we got to cover that and as you can see there's quite a bit on there so again I'm just going to blend that in with the beauty blender um, like I said I haven't seen anybody do this idea yet but I'm sure there will be videos out there of people that have done it so if you have seen someone do this type of video let me know because I'd love to watch theirs and I mean I'm pretty lucky with my name it's quite long I mean Caroline there's like a lot of letters in there so imagine if your name was like Sue no hate to Sue's out there, but what makeup can you use if your name's Sue? S. Does anything start with S? Setting spray, that's what we damp in your face and you're done. Um, you, I can't think of anything that starts with you. What if your name's like Amy? Like, what starts with an A? Nothing. M. Mascara. And why? Well, you're pretty much screwed there aren't you okay so next again it's another C I'm gonna go with contour because I can't use powder because I don't have to pay my name unfortunately so I'm just gonna go straight in with contour and I'm gonna take my Revolution Iconics Pro is that what it is? Revolution Iconic Lights and Contour Pro Powder which is this one here you've all seen it you all know I love it and yeah I bet you can tell which shade is my go-to so I'm just gonna take a brush and swirl that in and pop that on I'm so glad I have like contour like I'm able to use it because I'll be pale as F 
without it. And I think I'm going to take full advantage of the fact that I can use this and just do what I can with it on my face to give me some sort of shape and bring a bit of life back because I am looking pale. So I'm going to take that on my forehead, give that a little bit of warmth and shape because I am looking full on moonhead at the moment. And just on my jawbone, which I don't tend to do, but like I said, I'm gonna take full advantage of it and sculpt what I can. So I think what else I'm gonna do is just take a dark contour shade, just this one here, and try and give a bit more like definition into my cheeks. Just pop that under there to try and create some cheekbones. And down my nose area. Again, I don't do this usually in my makeup routine. But we're gonna go all in today. So I'm just going to take another brush and just work that in, just to blend it in a little. Oh, it looks like I've got a highlight on there. Props for this lighting. But the next thing I'm going to use, obviously, like I've just said, I don't have a hit for highlighter, but hello. Eyeshadow. Luckily, I have an E in my name, and I'm so, so happy that I do, because I look bald without eyeshadow or eyeliner. So I'm super happy that I have an E in my name. Thank you very much, Mum and Dad. So the eyeshadow palette that I'm using is the Obsession Makeup London palette, which is just this one here. And I think I'm gonna do more of like a nude sort of eye look today because we're very minimal, so I just want something simple that's not gonna look a little too out there. So first what I'm gonna do is do like a base. So I'm gonna take the shade Housewife. So I'm gonna take this Housewife shade here onto my lids just for that base shade I mean I could have probably used this to set my under eye concealer I might do that I might take this eyeshadow and just put a bit underneath my eyes to set that thinking Caroline. Good thinking. There we go. So I think I'm going to take this MILF shade, this one here for my lid. It's like a pretty pink shade. And it's quite a subtle sort of shimmer. I don't really know if it's going to show up too well on camera. I mean, no, it doesn't really show up too well. That's a bit disappointing. Maybe I'll use something else then. Okay, so let's try something different. So I'm gonna take this Gone Wild shade up here, and this is like um, sort of an orangey brown shade. So I'm gonna take that, and as you can see, it's quite pigmented. I'm gonna pop that on top of that one. Oh, there we go. That's a really, really warm, brown shade. Next I'm gonna take the shade Hustle. I'm gonna take that into the crease just as a bit of a transition shade. That's not looking too bad. Nope, so I think next I'm going to take the shade Dealer, which is just this light brown shade here, and just pop that in the inner corner and outer corners of my lid, just to give some definition into my eye. What I've noticed with like lighter coverage, 
and what I never used to like is like I have a lot of freckles especially when it's been sunny which it has been in England for like on and off the past three weeks um, so my freckles come through quite a lot and at first I was really self-conscious about having my freckles come through and showing so when I was applying foundation and the freckles weren't covering I was like mm, I don't know how I feel about this I don't like the look of my freckles coming through I want something a bit more heavy coverage but now I feel like I'm learning to embrace the freckles because they're part of my face and you know they're there and they're part of me so there's nothing really that I can do about it and yes I could probably cover them but then why would I want to do that it's what makes you you and it makes you different and you're perfect just the way you are so that is the eye look and it's nude it's warm it's okay um, so I think we're gonna leave that there for the eyes so next I'm gonna move on to eyeliner thank the Lord I can use eyeliner because I love it and I feel naked without it so I'm gonna use my of course trusty collection felt liner if you haven't seen it before feast your eyes it is this one here I love it I talk about it all the time I always go back to it let's get this applying I think I might just do like half a wing today so like start from the middle and go out not like go into the inner corner just change things up a bit because you know that's just what we do over here okay so that is eyeliner done thank you eyeliner gods for not letting me mess that up so next Obviously I can't do mascara because I don't have an M in my name, unfortunately, so my eyelashes are just going to have to be bare, <laughs> yeah. But I do have an E, the E has saved me today, so I'm going to do my eyebrows. So for eyebrows, I'm going to use my um, Maybelline Brow Satin Pen, and it is just this one here. And then on the other side, it's got a little spongy, just to get that fading in, sort of feel. So I'm going to attempt to do these. I'm just going to give them a little brush first just to put that shape in and here we go not the best at brows but there we have it and at least you know you can tell I've actually got some eyebrows now which I'm thankful for so next what am I gonna do I'm gonna do lip liner and lipstick because I have an L in my name so I get to do that the lip liner that I'm gonna use is this PS lip liner pencil and don't think it has the shade name on it no it just says zero one which is a shame but it is just this color here and it is I'll swatch it for you it's like a pinky nude shade so I'm gonna just line my lips with this and give some definition There we go, see? Like, it barely looks like I have any on, so it's perfect for the overline look and natural look. Which I love for like everyday use. So for lipstick, I'm gonna use a PS Velvet Matte Lipstick Crayon. And again, this doesn't have a shade name on it. Does it have one on the label? It just says natural on the label, which you know, is a great help pre mark. But again, it's another nude one. It's this colour and it pretty much is close to the lip liner. So it's just this one here. And it is just, a, again, a more of a toned down pinky nude shade. And it's very, very creamy, which I love because it just glides onto those lips. So I'm just going to apply this.
and just see how quick and simple that was, like, effortless. And this is actually one of my favourite lip combos, because it is just so, like, good for every day. And that is a video. So, yeah, I mean, obviously this is not like a tutorial or anything like that. This is just like a bit of fun using products. That was my mirror. Using products that start with the letters in my name. So I just thought it'd be a good idea for a video, a bit of fun. So obviously this isn't like me saying how to create this look. This is just me having a laugh and having some fun because I have nothing better to do with my time, <laughs> it seems. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've seen any more of these types of videos, like with people using products to start with the same letters as the name, or if you've done them, or if you want to see like more fun, different kind of videos like this from me, because it's something different and it's something that I think it's not like generic and going around all the time and like you've seen like 10 of the same videos on your feed. Um, so yeah, I really hope you liked it and Give it a thumbs up if you did, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, um, and I'll see you all in my next video. 